Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should always be compressing your crashes. It's very important because a crash is just a whole lot of frequency content over a long period of time. Basically this. Right, and we have our waveform readout here, courtesy of LFO tool. So what you want to do is you want to preserve the initial attack and then have the compressor release in such a way where it has the ability to ring out but you really get rid of, you know, like the, it's, this can really take over a mix if you're not careful. And, you know, if you lower the volume, you just kind of lose it. So here's how I go about it, uh, depending on what's going on. I'm going to turn off makeup gain after I install or insert a Ableton compressor. You can use any compressor you want. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing down the threshold, and you'll notice that the volume is reduced, but a tiny bit in the beginning is preserved, right? And as we increase the attack, it will bring the ratio uh, up. You'll be able to see more of that. it will bring the threshold way down, right? We have that uh, initial uh, attack preserved, and then it has the ability to kind of ring out. The release can't really do anything just because it's like a full body of frequency content. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out just for ease of use and then drop in another compressor. I'm going to go over and open up the sidechain, turn on the EQ, turn on the preview EQ, and I'm going to preview the, the low end here. Right? Right, that sounds like it has the attack that we want. I want, the com I want what's fed into the compressor to only be the attack. Turn up the Q or the resonance. That might not work. Let's use a band. All right, that looks pretty good. So that's really going to drive into the compressor. And uh, yeah, let's do the same thing we did, but you'll notice that the attack will be there. The begin reduction, and then it will release into like the ring out, basically. So let's try to do that. Why is it so loud? Oh, makeup gain off. Right? We have that initial attack there. And uh, we can give it a bit more attack. I'm using a very high ratio just for the sake of example. We'll dial it back later. Right, we see that little dip there that wasn't there initially. That's what a good crash looks like. And what it is is it's like the human ear can't really tell. Uh, it can't really tell much uh, reduction in volume, but it can really detect increase in volume. So like spikes in volume. Kind of a weird thing how our ears work. So how I adjust the ring out is I adjust the release, and I can increase the release. It'll take a take a while for the gain reduction to go back up, right? Increase the attack. Bring down the threshold. Right, that sounds like a kind of a, a more musical crash. It'll fit in the mix better. It won't be overpowering, but it'll be there. And that has to do with the attack and the what we did with the ring out here. So I'll just give you a before and after. Big old blockiness of a lot of frequency content. And then with the compressor. Kind of, you want that to sync with your track. You know, uh, compressor release times should be musical. And it should uh, make sense in the context of what you're doing. Too fast, it'll kind of It'll, it won't sound good in the context of the tempo of the track. So you want to play around with it there anyway. You wouldn't, yeah, I guess you can use any ratio you want. Maybe like four to one. And make sure uh, makeup gain is off. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.